The Arakan and Rohingya are two ethnic minorities in Burma. The Rohingya are not recognised as Burmese citizens, but these two groups have been living side by side in Western Burma for centuries. The Arakan are Buddhist, the Rohingya are Muslim, and there has been cases of sectarian violence in the past. Violence started as a result of a brutal gang rape of an Arakan girl, which led to retaliatory killings of Muslims. The situation pretty quickly got out of control. You had mobs of young Arakan, mobs of young Rohingya, roaming the streets, committing random acts of violence, beheadings, stabbings, people basically going to their neighbors' houses, pulling people out of the house, beating them to death. You had entire quarters of cities burned to the ground. One of the problems that we were able to document was that there was collusion between the security forces and the ethnic Arakan, at which the Rohingyas were really the, the victims. Some Rohingya tried to flee to Bangladesh. They tried to either swim across or took rickety boats across a narrow channel of water, even though they knew that the Bangladesh authorities on the other side would simply push them back to Burma. In some cases, we had testimony of people who told us how they'd been pushed back three times, but they continued to come because the abuses were so grave in Burma. The international community has been so engrossed in the political changes that are going on and Aung San Suu Kyi's tour of Europe that it's been unwilling to really look at the reality of the situation on the ground for many ethnic minorities in Burma. And basically this is a test case for this new government, how it actually deals with these cases of sectarian violence. Is it going to address the long-standing grievances and the discrimination that the Rohingya have faced for decades in the country?